my channel. My name is Kristen and today I'm going to be sharing with you some small space organization and storage ideas to help maximize the space that you're in. If you're living in a small space right now and everything feels cluttered and disorganized, I'm going to show you some little easy methods that you can use to help maximize your space and use it to the best of its potential. If you enjoy watching, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first small space I want to work on is my mug cupboard. If you have a mug cupboard designated for your coffee mugs and your tea mugs, it might look a little something like this. I think we can really take advantage of the vertical height in this cupboard and install these little slide on mug hooks. I picked these up off of Amazon and they come in this little pack of two. I love them so much that I'm going to pick up more for sure and line my entire cupboard in these, but they're renter friendly. They're they're easy to put on, they slide right onto the shelf above, and that way you can hang your mugs and take advantage of the amount of space in your cupboards. I love that it actually adds so much more storage space, but it also makes it look really decorative, organized, and pretty, so when you open up this cabinet, it's very presentable. So if you have a cabinet in your kitchen that is designated for your mugs, I'm sure you could use something similar. If your mugs are all stacked up and looking unorganized, this is such a great solution. Obviously I could use a lot more of these to store all of my mugs, but this side of the cupboard looks amazing and I absolutely love these. So I highly recommend getting some mug hooks, organizing your small space. It will work in any size cabinet and really help double the amount of storage space you have. If you have a small kitchen and you're lacking drawer space, you should consider combining two different drawers together and really taking advantage of one little space. I'm going to be combining my utensils and my cutlery together using this compact organizer. I've never seen a compact utensil organizer like this and I think this is a great way to take advantage of a tiny little space. It also just makes things look really neat and tidy because everything's kind of tucked underneath each other. It has these little built-in labels on the organizer so you know what's what, you can put everything in the right place and it just gives off a really organized and clean look. So if you have a small kitchen, a small drawer, or you're living in some kind of tiny home, I think this would be the perfect utensil organizer. Something you don't normally see, but something you should definitely be looking for. a small laundry room or small laundry closet, you're probably looking for some extra space to hang dry your clothes. So this is when tension rods come in. I love tension rods. They're renter friendly and they really allow you to create some extra hanging space anywhere you need. So this is from Ikea. It's very, very affordable. It extends to any size you want and locks in place. I also used a tension rod like this in a previous video to organize my bathroom underneath the sink. So if you're looking for some more ideas, definitely check out that video as well. But I have this little nook in the laundry room and it created the perfect opportunity to use a tension rod and turn this area into a clothes hanging section. This simple trick instantly transforms my laundry room and makes it more functional. So this is using every little area of the space, turn any space that you need into a little hanging section station using a tension rod. The countertops are very valuable real estate when it comes to kitchen space, but a lot of the time they end up getting filled up with drying dishes on your little rack and it's just taking up valuable space. So if you can get a rack like this to hang right over top of your kitchen sink, you will save so much more 
countertop space. This is just a simple rollout rack, again, that I found at Home Goods. You can use it to prep your food or you can use it as a drying rack for your dishes. It's super sturdy, it has a nice little rubber pad on either end so it doesn't move around. And you can use that space right on top of your sink to finally hold your dishes and free up your countertop space. I really love that this little drying rack is also portable. You can roll it up, it's super small, and it's not a big clunky piece that you have to store away. This can kind of extend your countertop space and you can use this rack to cut your vegetables, dry your fruit, and use it as extra prep space. So if you're looking for more countertop space, this is something that would definitely work for you. If you have a small laundry room, you know that these giant laundry baskets take up so much valuable space. So I found this collapsible laundry bin and it is amazing. I can't recommend it more. This is by Brookstone and it collapses and it extends. It does the job, but it also allows you to store it away and save some valuable space. You can slip it right underneath your bed when you're not using it. You can stack it in your laundry room. You can get multiple of these and it will still save you space. If you have a double door fridge like this, you know that the space is a little limited inside. I find this fridge pretty hard to organize. There's not much storage space and I really want to create a little bit more separation in here so I can organize my food. So I'm actually going to be using these under shelf baskets. I use these all the time to organize different areas of my home with clothes and towels, bed sheets. I use them everywhere, but I have not used them in the fridge yet. I think this is the perfect opportunity to slide a little basket in there and create some separation in my fridge. If you're looking to organize your space in your fridge a little bit more, maybe create a station to store your fresh fruit, a little grab and go station, maybe have a little basket like this to store to go lunches. This would be a perfect opportunity to get some organization in there and make the most of your small fridge. Don't forget about using your door as another storage and organization opportunity. I'm using these velvet hooks that I got from Ikea. They come in a pack of three. I'm pretty sure that they're new there, but they're really pretty color. They don't damage anything. They're renter friendly and they just really create an easy opportunity to store larger items. So I'm using this as another opportunity to hide away a laundry basket like this. It keeps it off the ground, out of the way and it's not taking up any space. This actually fits right behind the door here and it opens up perfectly. You can also store larger items like your ironing board by hanging two of these hooks. I've never found a good place to put my ironing board and I just love this idea. You can take it down super easily, you can hang it up and that way it's stored away and not taking up extra space in your home. If you're trying to save some space in your small closet, think about switching from plastic hangers to velvet slim hangers. These look really nice. They grip your clothes very well so nothing's falling off the hanger. And overall, they have such a slim design that they take up a lot less space in your closet. They also come in different colors. So here are a bunch at Home Goods, and you can pick out whatever color you want. The slim design will allow you to fit more hangers, which means more clothes in your closet. You can see that the plastic hangers take up way more space even when pushed tightly together. The design is so much more bulky so if you're looking to save some space in your closet, add more clothes and trying to find the room for it, switching to velvet hangers will actually give you more space. All right, so that's it for my small space organization and storage ideas. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope this gave you some ideas that you can use to help maximize the space around your home. Let me know down below in the comments which organization idea was your favorite. I think mine might be the hanging mugs. I think it's so cute. It's organized. It's created more space in that cabinet. And 
can't forget about the collapsible laundry basket because that saves a ton of space. Anyways, if you enjoyed watching and found this helpful, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel for more home improvement videos. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have a notification turned all the way on so you're first to see the next video. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.